Margot felt quite exquisite as she dipped her fries in mayo, gracefully extending her pinky to the sky. See, she had just saved by getting Cox Mobile for her family. Yes, more lines, more savings, Margot. Brilliant. She finished her cherry slush drink with a triumphant, exquisite indeed. Visit a Cox store and pay as low as thirty dollars a line for four or more unlimited lines. Four lines required for thirty dollars per line. Price max of five lines. Prices exclude taxes, device activation, and other fees and charges. Other restrictions apply. When you visit Arizona, time is measured in moments, not minutes. Like the moment your work stress disappears as you kayak through the canyons, or the moment you discover the life-changing effects of prickly pear chocolate. But nothing beats the moment you see the Grand Canyon for the very first time. Visit a new state of mind. Learn more at hereyouareaz.com. Gibson of the International Secret Police. Ceiling zero, ceiling zero, ceiling zero, ceiling zero, ceiling zero. Speed Gibson, Clint Barlow, and Barney Dunlap, members of the International Secret Police, are in Hong Kong, China, on the trail of the octopus, leader of an enormous and dangerous criminal organization. Marsha Winfield, whose brother Lawrence was involved with the octopus and mysteriously disappeared three years previously, is kidnapped by the criminal so that she will be unable to give the boys any more aid as to his whereabouts. The octopus plans to smuggle her aboard a flower boat, which is bringing a load of slaves down the Siang River on this very night, and send her to Hang Chau. Meanwhile, Speed, Clint, and Barney, together with Lee Ying, Hong Kong operator of the secret police, and ten deputies, come to the Siang River dock to arrest the smugglers and try to gain some clue as to Marsh's whereabouts. The boys are in Chinese disguise, and when they recognize Quan Wu in the crowd near a large box, come close to see why he is on the pier. Speed, peering closely at the box, is pushed into the water by Quan Wu right under the prow of the flower boat. Quan Wu pushed the kid. Let me at him. No, no, wait, Barney. We've got to get speed first. There's a ladder down to the water. Now, quick, get down to it. I will take care of Quan Wu, Clint, and keep watch up here. All right, then I'll go down with Barney, then. Come on, Barney. Down you go. And don't forget your Chinese disguise. Why you push boy into water, huh? You may not meddle with gentlemen's belongings. You go about for business, or you lose and go into the... The dirty rat. Come on, come on, hurry up. Or I'll step on your hand. Can you see speed? Not yet. But there's a float down here under the pier. Maybe he's hanging on to that. Oh, I hope so. If only that paddle wheel of the flower boat didn't drag him under. That stopped now. He would have had a chance to come up. Here we are. And there's speed. He's floating in the water under the pier. He's out cold, Clint. Must have hit his head on this float when he fell. Oh, if anything's happened to him. Oh, here. Hold my jacket while I, I lean out to get him. Okay, lean away. I've got you. All right. A little further then, Bobby. How's that? Can you reach him? Yeah. Yeah, I got him. Pull me back. There you are. Here, let me help you with it. He hit his head on the float, all right. Look at that bump over his eye. Yeah, keep quiet until I feel his pulse. Is he all right, Clint? I think so. But he got plenty of water. Here, help me give him artificial respiration. I'll turn him over on his stomach. Okay, you grab one arm. I'll take the other. Yeah. He's coming around now. Good. Now listen, Bonnie. There's a runway back to shore under this pier. You see it? Yeah. Take speed out of this whole mess and keep him up. I'm going back up the ladder to Ying and his men. Hey, what about me? You stay with speed. No, wait a minute. I... Orders, Bonnie. Orders. Oh, well. Might as well make the best of it, I guess. Come on, kid. You're kind of big to carry, but I guess I can make it. 
Hey, I'm the one that should be groaning. I just hope I can get over that narrow runway to shore without falling in. Oh. Oh. This is worse than tightrope walking. I wonder why they have this float and runway under the pier anyhow. It must be for rowboats and stuff. Or do these sampans and junks use it? It's fit for junk, all right. Oh, oh. It's all right, kid. Old Barney's taking care of you. Barney? Yeah. In spite of these slant eyes and Chinese clothes, it's your old pal Barney. What happened? I'm cold. Where are we? You're cold because you're wet, and you're wet because Quan Wu pushed you off the Siang Dock. Quan Wu. Now I remember. Hey, take it easy. You almost threw us both overboard. But I got to tell you, Barney. Let me down. Listen, Speed. If I let you down, I'll go down, too. I'm paralyzed. I can't let go until we reach shore. Take it easy. We're almost there. We've got to go back to the flower boat. You expect me to carry you back? Oh, no. Where's Clint? With Li Ying. The flower boat's docked. They're waiting to spring the arrest now. We've got to go back. You know that box I was looking at? I'll say I know it. That box is the reason Quan Wu pushed you into the water. Thought you was getting too nosy for a coolie. The reason he got so sore, I bet, was because Miss Marsh is in that box. Yeah, but... Huh? Yeah. I saw her through a little hole in the box that must have been there for air, I guess. And I was just going to yell for you and Clint when he pushed me into the water. I don't remember anything after that. Suffering wang doodles. We got to get back to Clint and tell him. Wait a minute. What's wrong? Somebody's on that float we just left. It's kind of hard to make out who or what in this fog. Looks to me like they've opened the door in the hold of that flower boat. Yeah. I can see now with that light there. They're transferring their cargo to that other boat on the other side of the pier. But why under the pier, Barney? I don't know, unless it's something they don't want anybody to see. Slaves. That's what they're transferring, slaves. How in the heck do we get from under this pier? I want to get on top of it. This runway goes right into the seawall, Barney. Yeah, can't get up this way unless we shinny up the dock posts, and that's impossible. Or else go back the way we came. Can't gamble on getting by them guys. Don't forget, kid, they're working for the octopus. And how we get word to Clint about Marcia being in that box and the smuggling going on underneath the pier? I know. Unless... I've got it. There's just enough space right above us here for a guy to get through, Speed. I'll give you a boost. You stand on my shoulders and crawl through, then give me a hand. Do you think you can do that? Are you strong enough now? Listen, Barney, I'll do anything to save Miss Marsh and stop that smuggling. Hey, give me a boost now. I hope that we can make it. So do I, kid. They're unloading that boat fast. Want to pull away quick, I guess. But we'll do our best to get there in time. He's speed all right, Clint. Uh, yes, we him. Nasty bump on his forehead and half drowned, but I left him in Barney's care. Is everyone set? Why, yes. My men have every octopus man on the dock under surveillance. The first wrong move and the arrest will be made. Good. I hope we'll get the bigger fish. Oh, that reminds me. I wonder what Quan Wu is doing here and why he pushed Speed off the pier. Remember, to all appearances, Speed is a coolie, a Chinese working man. Perhaps one crew thought he would try to steal something. Or has Wu something in that box that he wishes no one to see? How do you know that the box is his property? Purely circumstantial evidence thus far. Right. But sometimes circumstantial evidence supplies the only means of catching the cleverest criminals even. Look, cargo is going aboard. Yes. Boxes. And that big box is going aboard with them. Evidently, that wasn't Wu's property after all. See, he takes no interest in it, but he's watching the merrymaking on the decks. But what about the slave cargo? They haven't taken them off yet. No, I have had no signal from my men. Look, did you see that? One of the sing-song girls on the flower boat has thrown Quan Wu a lotus blossom. Yeah. He's motioned to his rickshaw boy to pick it up. Boy, give me the lotus. Here, sir. Are we now to go? Not quite yet. This lotus signifies that all the slaves have left the flower boat. But our cargo of opium is not all on board yet. Though the most important cargo, <laughs> the girl is aboard. I have fear. This is dangerous business. You knew that when you entered the octopus band. Too late to leave it now. I do not want to leave band. But cannot we leave Siang Dak? Last box of opium just going aboard flower boat? Yes. Now we can go. Our departure will be the signal for the captain of the flower boat to depart also. Let us go. Yes, sir. Mm. 
Look, Clint. Wu is leaving. Yes, so I see. There's something in the air, Ying. We've missed something. The signal, Clint. The slaves are being transferred. What? Where? The man stationed by the other boat gave the signal. Uh, let us go over there, huh? Well, the flower boat is getting ready to pull away from the dock. Hurry, over here. Look down there, Clint. Cargo being taken into hold from under pier. Sacks of human beings. That's how we missed them. They were working beneath us. Oh, it's too late to catch the big fish now. We'll take the smaller fry. <whistles> Stop that slave cargo, men! Stop that, Daniel! Stop that, Spotted that cargo transfer. Yeah. It's tough to get through this crowd watching the fight. We had a hard enough time getting up on the dock. Now it's going to be even worse getting out to where the excitement is. Hey, look, Barney. The flower boat pulling out. Quick, we got to get through this mob. Marsh is aboard that boat, sure as shooting. And once out on the Siang River, it's going to be tough to find her. All them flower boats look alike. Fight, kid. Fight. I'm doing my best, Barney. <laughs> Hey, 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 hey